Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Tower Defense. This is part 13, I think. And still same route. I keep losing. It's really annoying. So hopefully I can beat it. I got to like level, or not level, to wave 43 out of 45 and then I lost. So poop. Um, keep trying, I guess. I mean, my Pokemon are getting stronger, so shouldn't be as difficult. Hold on. I have this Pidgeotto doing feather dance, which it makes it unable to carry candy for a while. So I want to see if if I put that at the end, then the Pokemon that come by won't be able to grab the candies. So I guess we'll check it out. And they also added this where the experience shows up. That's pretty cool looking. So that is well. And I feel like this channel is doing very well. I'm happy with the amount of subscribers I'm getting and all that stuff. It's almost getting more than like my main channel, which has around like 2,000 and something. So it's going at about the same pace almost, which, I mean, that's bad for my first channel, but good for this one, I guess. And yeah, these videos are getting a lot more views than you would expect because I don't know I only have about a hundred subscribers and these videos are getting like 200 views which doesn't really make sense to me but it's cool I'm happy with it and let me think I think I'm gonna start making some playlists for my videos like have one well maybe I already did shoot I don't even remember uh, how many candies are there one two three four five six seven looks like there's seven left I could be wrong give or take a few but this Kadabra just keeps leveling up so fast uh, I got him from that shiny Abra event he was level 1 and after he hit 16 which made him evolve and he could actually use real moves he just started like going hardcore and now he's like the highest one he, just, he must just like level up really fast I'm not sure anyways oops last part that I'm not going to upload because I lost again. I caught a Meowth, which was sweet. I didn't even know they had Meowths on here. I think I did see him one last time, though. Regular Abras look weird now that I have, like, a couple shiny ones. They just look funny. I love how many Growlists are on this route. They're abundant. And make sure to check out on my first channel. I've been doing some trading card game, like, you know, uploading, like, me opening packs of Pokemon cards, and that seems like a good time. It's pretty fun, because, well, it's a quite expensive hobby, actually, if you are a collector of those Pokemon cards. I used to when I was younger, and they only, they didn't have, like, all these different sets and stuff. They had, like, two. They had Fossil and the regular one. Telekinesis. Um, these are just five floats. Huh? Why not? All right. Confusion or Psybeam? Which one's better? This one does 50. This one does 65. All right. Wait, did I do it? Now I have confusion. Gosh dang it! I'll just get rid of reflect. No, I'll get rid of disable. Okay. All right. All right. Let's just do it. Whatever. No, I don't want you to use telekinesis. Alright, what was I talking about? Oh, Pokemon cards. When I was younger, they just basically had two kinds. The base set and fossil. And they weren't that expensive, actually. You know how packs nowadays are $4? I think they were probably about 3 And now that those base set, um, I assume they stopped making them or something. Because they're really, really expensive. For just like one. What move is this growth? Uh, no, I don't really care about this move. Whatever, weak seed. And now they're they're really expensive. Like I looked up online for a base set box which has 36 packs. I think those had nine cards in a pack. They might have had ten. I don't really remember or care. And um, it costs about three hundred dollars to buy one of those off of eBay. That is just like outrageous. 
Oh my gosh. Not not worth it at all. I don't see why you would do that. I guess if you're like hardcore collector, but otherwise, you know. Shoot, man, you gotta. Ugh, that's just crazy. And you could probably buy the entire set for like not even close to that price. Probably like I'm thinking around thirty or forty dollars you could buy the set. I know I had the whole set, but I sold it. I sold like a huge box of Pokemon cards, just like filled with Pokemon cards. I sold it for five dollars at the garage sale, like at a garage sale we had. And now I really wish I wouldn't have done that, because those cards are worth a lot more than I sold them for. Like one card was probably worth five dollars. So I'm kind of mad about that, but I just wanted to get them out because Pokemon was like such a stupid thing. But now I think it's cool again. Uh oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. We got five left. Five rounds. Let's do this, guys. You better kill them all, please. Well, the good thing about that is, like, I had to play it a couple times. My guys are all, like, leveling up now, so getting easier to battle. Those Persians, get them out of here. I didn't even check to see if this was helping at all. I think it is though, so. Well, they're not even getting past, so. Oh, out for 44. I think I'll probably buy some TMs for the next game. Or next episode, I mean. And once again, still check out my channel and post a comment for which Let's Play I should do after this. Because this will soon run out of levels for me to do. And I don't know which game I should do next, so you guys will decide. Ooh, Vermilion City. I didn't know there was another one already. Alright, well thanks for watching part 13. Next one will be Vermilion City. Uh, see you guys next time.